Hey, what's up, guys? This is Coach Chase Rimbert, DFW Penguin Basketball, PenguinHoops.com. Uh, hey, before we get started, man, like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Share this video with someone that has a son or daughter that plays basketball or any youth sport. But today I want to talk about um, something that uh, I noticed a lot. Not really with my parents, because a lot of the parents that I have, in order for them to play for me, they kind of got to have a, a certain uh, mind state and mentality to be able to go through the process of improvement. But just anyway, um, I don't want anybody to be delusional about their son's ability to play a sport. I don't want you to be delusional about your son's potential to go to the NBA or play college ball and all that stuff, right? And the number one thing that I've seen lately when I'm talking about parents, kids, coaches being delusional, and, you know, I, I, don't, I don't mean to say this in a negative way, but the number one reason why people are delusional with their kids' ability or their potential to play a sport at a high level is simply the fact that you're delusional about that because your son is not putting in enough work. If your son is not putting in the amount of work that they need to do, it's just not going to work. Your son, especially if the genetics are there, and even if they are there, your son is extremely tall and fast and naturally skilled. He still needs to be obsessed with basketball, obsessed with getting better, obsessed we're going to the gym, obsessed with going in the backyard and getting shots up, obsessed to the point where um, you think it's something wrong with him. <laughs> it's like, what? what is wrong with this kid? That's all he did. He's dribbling everywhere. We go to Walmart as soon as he sees a ball in Walmart. He goes to the toy station. He try to dribble around Walmart. We go to the movies. He's trying to bring a basketball. Like Those type of guys are the guys that end up being more successful. Now, I'm not saying that your son is not going to be able to reach certain goals, right, without being obsessed, but you as a parent can't have these extremely high expectations if the genetics honestly aren't there. And also, the number one thing is if your son is not putting in the work, he's not obsessed with playing a sport of basketball and getting better and constantly looking for ways to get better, right? Guys, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with basketball and I just ended up being all right, you know? So um, I just wanted to send this video out to you guys and just kind of let you know, I don't want you to get extremely high expectations for your son in a sport of basketball when one, you as a parent, you don't know what to do to get your son to a certain point as far as development and stuff. And also, if your son doesn't really want to put in the work, he doesn't want to hold himself accountable to reach these goals, right? So I don't want you guys to get discouraged when your son is not averaging 15, 20, 30 points a game, when all he does is just literally goes outside, shoots, shoots the ball around, okay? and then comes to my practice once or twice a week. It's just not going to be there. These kids these days that are really good that you may see online, their parents are pushing them. They have trainers, uncles, brothers, sisters that may be pushing them as well. And they are extremely dedicated to getting better. Hey, I'm Coach Tex. Remember at DFW Penguin Basketball, PenguinHoops.com. I'll see you guys later.